You are watching another episode of Shane Solomon Meets, brought to you by the Cornwall Channel. I'm your host, Shane Solomon. Today, I'm meeting James from the Duchy Group. So, James, welcome to the studio. Your first impressions? Very nice, Shane. Uh, well, a great studio. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Well, it's a pleasure to have you here. Now, of course, we met through the world of networking, I think, yep. through your partnerships originally, and also through the Cornwall Chamber of Commerce, through Darren Buckley. Yeah. Of course, he's quite the man, isn't he? The old selfie king. He is. Uh, we had a <laughs> party on Saturday night, which Darren was there. came yeah, to. Uh, yeah, we had some great shots, great uh, chat. Uh, it's up on LinkedIn. Uh, great to see Darren there. He met the other partners and, and the directors of the business. So, yeah, it was a great night. So, for those people on my network who haven't had the honour of meeting you yet and find out what oh you goodness. do, yeah. so give me a bit of a background, you know, uh, what the Dutchy Group yeah, actually sure. do. Yeah, sure. Okay. Dutchy Group are a construction business in the southwest. We are, we've got offices in uh, South Cornwall, in Mid Cornwall, and also in Exeter. Uh, we uh, carry out four different um, things, which is demolition, civil engineering, uh, haulage, and a plant hire. Uh, we've got an array of different plant, dumpers, rollers, and different size excavators. Um, a differing amount of lorries, being muckaway lorries, eight wheelers, uh, grab lorries, arctics, and low loaders for moving our plant around. Uh, we do demolition all, all over the UK, but mainly in the southwest at the moment, uh, and civil engineering as well. So... How did it all start then? Where's Dutchy Group come from and where are they going? Okay, the Dutchy Group came from uh, a groundworks and civil engineering business um, that uh, Jamie Shelton started a number of years ago. Um, it's ba just based in Cornwall, doing small works in Cornwall, and that's grown to the group that we are today for subsidiary amount of companies under the Dutchy Group main banner. Now, were you headhunted for this? Because I know your background is pretty impressive. Uh, I uh, met Jamie um, a while ago. Jamie uh, and the Simon, who's the other uh, partner, wanted to take the business out of Cornwall, really, and grow it. Uh, a lot of people I know, uh, I'm a Glosser man, and I know a lot of Tier 1 contractors further up the line. Um, it was more of to get the group out of just Cornwall, looking ahead into the into Devon and further up into the southwest. And construction for Cornwall, how do you feel that is at the moment? Where is it in the kind of marketplace? Construction for Cornwall is very good. Cornwall is a very affluent uh, county. There's lots of money down in Cornwall, but Cornwall is one county. The Dutchy Group um, are happy to work in that county, but also can see that the county is becoming very saturated with the many, many other clients and contractors that are here. So it's really for us to get out. Everyone knows the Dutchy Group. Everyone knows the brand. Everyone knows where we're going. Everyone knows that we're uh, serious about quality rather than quantity. So we want to get out of Cornwall, further into Devon, further into Somerset, and, and feel and look look upon much larger in the southwest. So, how many does it employ in Cornwall at the moment? Uh, in Cornwall, say? we've got circa 150. Wow, okay. people. Yeah, um, that's certainly what we'll have by two to three months time. Excellent. And for you then, outside of work, what's your hobbies? What are you into? What Crikey. you know? What floats uh, James's boat? So, I'm involved with rugby. We sponsor Penryn Rugby Club. Um, I'm involved with the rugby. My two sons play at Penryn. Um, so I sp we sponsor them from a business point of view. I coach at Penryn. Um, I'm also a parent at Pen Penryn, obviously, and I sit on the committee there as well. Um, having two young children, most of my uh, weekend time is running around after them, um, as I'm sure we all know. Um, and we've got a house that I'm currently di doing up as well at the, at the moment with my wife. Okay. So, yeah, it's busy times. And you, so you live in Penryn? I live just outside Penryn, but yep. Penryn, Penryn boy, I'm from Gloucester. That doesn't matter, that's all right. Absolutely. That's all right, nothing, <laughs> nothing wrong with that. And um, networking. Yes. So th that plays a big part in your working week, does it? It does. I do a lot of networking within the, in the business. Mm -hmm. um, I'm the group development uh, director for the Dutch group. I sit on the board of uh, directors with the group. Um, we do a lot of networking with your partnerships, mm -hmm. uh, the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, I lead link LinkedIn for us. I look after the website for us as well. Uh, and just pushing on really, we, we, uh, we can see or I can see that networking is a, a big part in what we do, getting out there, building the brand, uh, it, trying to get us out of Cornwall is great. Everyone knows us in Cornwall because we're a prominent force in Cornwall. The only way we're going to get our name out of Cornwall is by really getting out there. We recognise and we see that networking is a big push on this. Mm -hmm. Social media is a secondary big push on this and getting out there and meeting people. So I'm just trying to think. So 
is it just immediately Devon you're looking to get into? Or if you had contacts in <clears> London, <throat> let's say, or other parts of the UK, would you look at that? Yeah, a- absolutely. So demolition for us as a business is a nationwide business. Right. Our civil engineering and our, our plant hire is a southwest driven focus on that. So I'd like to say from Gloucester to Penzance, we look at that. We've got an office in Exeter and a yard in Exeter, so we can work out of Exeter well. Um, it, it, with regards to other items, I think we need to look at that as, as where we go. We need to focus on what we can in what area. Um, civil engineering, we would keep that in Cornwall. Civil engineering and groundworks. But we see that we can hold a presence in Cornwall uh, rather than going too far. Most of our staff are from Cornwall for the civil engineering side, the groundwork side. So you've got to look at that as well. It's quite a large factor. Now, I want to find what your thoughts are with Cornwall, where we are. We've talked about construction, and yep. it's quite buoyant at the moment. There's plenty going on. Yeah, sure. But what do you think about the positives coming out of Cornwall at the moment? Of course, we've got the spaceport, and a place to live, and where Cornwall is on the world map. What, what's yeah, your thoughts sure. about Cornwall um, PLC? You know? Okay, I'm a Gloucester lad. I think mm. I've said that just mm. now. Um, Cornwall's lovely. Cornwall's very pretty. Mm. It's very affluent. There's lots of money down here. As I say, it's affluent. It's great. Uh, however, it, it relies a lot on tourism. <clears throat> it relies on a lot of people talking together. Cornwall um, really needs a big push behind it. If we're going to get Cornwall up to, I don't want to say up to standard, but if we're going to get it going like other areas of the southwest or the UK, it really needs this big push, which your partnerships and the Chamber are doing at the moment. Mm. It's great to see other businesses, not just in Cornwall, but from Devon coming into Cornwall and chatting there's some really great Cornish businesses here. However, from a from an outside perspective, as I am, mm. it seems to be just in the county. It's very difficult to get that what's happening in Cornwall outside of Cornwall. Sure. Uh, the Space uh, Hub and down at Newquay, and I spoke to my family back in Gloucester, they knew nothing about it. So that really, really wow. shows... It was televised the next day, and yeah, they yeah. saw it on TV, yeah. but beforehand they didn't know. Sure, sure. It's an interesting one. It really is. You yeah, know, yeah. PR is a constant machine. Yeah. You know, anyone who ever says, you know, everyone knows about everyone, and, you know, unless you're someone like Michael Jackson, I think it's, you know, as an example, we, yeah, or yeah, Elvis, sure. or something like yeah. that, where you really know that name pretty much whatever age you are. It's it's an always uh, constant battle to keep getting that name out there. It and you've is. Got to keep pushing through, just like you networking myself. Yeah, you know, absolutely. We're established, but there's still we got a lot of followers, but there's still thousands, millions that still don't know. It is about oh, us, so. and, and we see that from the group, the Dutch group. Uh, everyone knows us in Cornwall. Everyone sees us in Cornwall. Mm. Our lorries, our plant hire, our vans, our vehicles that are all all uh, badged up and stickered with the Dutch group. Mm. Everyone knows us hit down here. It's getting us out there, and that's what we understand that we really need to push on the the promotion the pr the networking sure, yeah the, the, the getting out there that's yeah. really what it is well i'll tell you what james uh, i think you're doing a mighty fine job at the minute and i know <laughs> <Stop> you t- <laughs> <laughs> you touched on it just a moment ago about the the do at the weekend yeah but oh my goodness let's, let's talk about that a minute because i think it's okay. genius so it's having a christmas do pretty much in january isn't it it is um so there's a big push uh, a couple of reasons uh, and the main reason is, and this is what we believe. Um, so every everyone has a sickness, exciting December. Lots of people go out in December. It's Christmas. Uh, we have that break from work. It's great fun. Uh, lots of people are then uh, saving, um, looking forward to the end of January to get those pennies back in. Yeah. Um, we're a great believer in having a party in January. It's great fun. It's something to look forward to. Um, I have recovered from my headache, but it's, it's something to look forward to for everybody in January, uh, and everybody loves it. Yeah. And also, do, do you know what? You go to a lot of parties, or so we're different. We want to show our, our workforce and clients and friends. Come on, guys, come to something in January. It's something to look forward to. You probably get to the end of December and you've been to a few parties, so yeah, it's something fresh in January. That's what it's about. Really great. I think that's absolutely superb. Well, look, James, is there anything you'd like to mention whilst we're here that I've not asked you about whilst we're on this platform of the Cornwall Jam? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Do you, do you know what, guys? Um, the Dutchie Group, um, we are a prominent force in Cornwall. Uh, we are moving into the southwest, definitely, we're now with our office in Exeter. We are a plant hire, haulage, demolition, and civil engineering contractor. Um, the Dutchie Group, crikey, there it is. Um, guys, mm. please give us a call and we're sure to help. Well, I'll Thank tell you, you what, I'll tell you what, it's been a pleasure to have you in here. Great. And if you're not already connected with James, make sure you do that in the Dutchie group. I'll make sure they're linked in my status here on LinkedIn. And of course, if you're watching on my YouTube channel, 
head over to my LinkedIn page and connect with James over there. Brilliant. But, uh, Thank you very much, Shane. I will see you at the next event, my friend. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Brilliant. Uh, absolutely Thank you. fantastic. Well, that's it. If you know anyone doing anything remarkable here in Cornwall, please let me know by dropping me an email, shane at cornwallchannel.co.uk. My thanks as always to our producer, Mike Spinks today, who's produced this podcast. And uh, on behalf of myself and James, we'll see you next time and keep networking. Thank you.